Hey guys, if you haven't told your parents to buy this juice yet and I haven't told you in class, go buy it because it's the best thing ever. Okay, so I had a video made for y'all and um, and it got deleted after I spent about 35 minutes on it. I've been in quarantine for three hours and I'm already sick of it. Um, but I miss y'all. I'm sorry. I'll be back Friday. I promise. Um, I wasn't feeling well, so I left school to go get tested. Tested negative. I don't have the coronavirus, but I am sick. And because I was showing symptoms, they told me I had to stay out till at least Friday since my symptoms kind of began last Tuesday. So, um, don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. I just throw up a lot. Nothing really new there, but I wanted to get tested just in case. Always got to be you know, respectful of others. So anyway, I didn't want to get any of y'all sick. <clears throat> um, so by now you should have finished your test. Uh, if you're watching this first, go take your test as soon as this video is over. And then I'm going to show you how to, um, start your first paragraph. So hopefully yesterday you picked out the prompt you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you go to the instructions, the prompts. I had a couple of questions. The prompts are listed below here. I put the link to Purdue out. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I was just trying to cite my sources because I got these prompts and edited them a little bit, but they, they're not my own. They're Purdue Owls. Um, so we have first, which character do you like or dislike most and why? So you can pick anyone from Tara's family or Tara um, or Maybe Charles. We haven't heard that much about him, though. Um, discuss the hook of the story. So what makes this story so interesting? The majority of you like this story, and the majority of you don't like to read. Also, I just haven't met a single person who doesn't find this story fascinating. So if you can find the why in that, like why do people, especially people that don't like to read, um, or who typically hate reading class selected books. I'm looking at you, Bailey, um, who love this story. Why, why is it, why is it such an attention grabber? Okay. Um, choose one chapter from the story that you particularly liked and discuss only that chapter. So you're just focusing on this is the chapter I chose. It's important because it helps the whole role of the book, the whole plot, the whole point of her story by da 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 da. Um, analyze the character's wants, needs, and obstacles. Analyze the significant object. Okay, this one you could use um, the princess mountain. It comes, she talks about it more later, but that's kind of a home for her. Um, so that's important. She loves the mountain and they learn to live off the mountain and it's symbolic for her, especially if you look at the cover of the book, it is the mountain. It's also on a pencil. Um, that's very symbolic. You can talk about that or um, discuss how the context for a given piece of writing may have affected the writing itself. So for those of you super interested in the Waco siege, Ruby Ridge, um, the Oklahoma City bombing, everything kind of leading up or happening after these events. It talks about a lot of historical events in it. It talks about 9-11. Um, and all of these help shape Tara's view on life and um, her father's, right? Her family, the way they live, has many things to do with um, historical events because he believes that history repeats itself. And so he is trying to prevent their family from going through a lot of things that have already happened. So, um, <clears throat> nicely put, obviously. And so you can talk about the historical events and what sort of role they play in your essay. Um, so hopefully yesterday you created your hook for your essay. Please, please, please make it interesting. Okay. Don't make it, don't let it be similar to somebody else's. That's so boring. Please make it interesting. Um, this juice is the best ever, but it's like $4 a carton. So I really need to buy a juicer and start making my own because I can't, I can't be doing that all the time. This is my third one I bought this week. Since Friday, so that's three. I, I wonder why I'm getting chubby because I drank three cartons of juice in three days. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so 
Today, nothing is there because I'm creating the video for it. Okay, so today we are working on um, our introductions and our thesis statements. So something I want to go over with you, bear with me as I get there. Okay, our intro paragraphs. This is the way it should look in your head. It's a triangle. You have your broad statement, so that's your hook, your attention grabber, okay? And then you have your general introductory remarks. Um, don't focus on those yet. And you have your thesis. So first, always write your hook and then your thesis. Thesis is what your paper is going to be about. Hook is something to draw you in, to grab your attention. The little one in between is a bridge to connect the two ideas. So what does your thesis statement have to do with your hook? Oops. Um, so let's say your hook, you start out, let's say you're writing um, your paper, you chose the prompt about um, the historical context and how that influenced her writing. So you can say something about um, how Tara's story is greatly affected by all of these historical events, the Waco siege, the OKC bombing, Ruby Ridge, da da da, da um, for these reasons. But you start out with your hook as um, the ATF, guns blazing, raid, raids the Waco siege. You know what I mean? I say it better than that. But um, Or Ruby Ridge, you can start with the scream of the mom as she looks out and sees that her son is dead. Something like really captivating, right? But you have to connect that to her th to your thesis statement. So let's say you start with the Ruby Ridge and a really traumatic reliving of the moment. And then your thesis statement was this incident along with others. That's what I'm going to write as my example for you. I'll write this down in a second. Along with others um, shaped Tara's mind and ideas about the world. Okay, so then your introductory marks, remarks would be this event occurred in um, Ruby Ridge on such and such date um, and Tara's father told it to his own kids. So actually, instead of talking about it, let's just write it, shall we? Now, I'm just writing this off of the top of my head with you guys, so it may be a little rough, um, but that's okay. All good writing is, and it's important that you know that I've written a thousand papers in my lifetime, and I still struggle. Um, it's a little dramatic, but not much. Okay. Seven new school Schoology messages. You guys miss me. Again, been quarantined for three hours. Um, so remember that when you're writing your actual paper, you're going to put your MLA heading up here. So we need to go times. Let me search for it. So you need to go times New Roman 12. Come over here. That's right. Come to these three dots. These, nope, this arrow, double spaced. Okay. Um, write your name, then you write your teacher's name. I'm going to make Miss Chapman my teacher. Um, and then you write the class, it's English 2. And then you write the date and you write it funky. So 17 November 2020. And then you'll go middle. You're going to write your title. I want this to be something creative. Um, oh, pfft. put my link to my YouTube video on there. Just a little self-promotion, you know, nothing new. Just kidding. Okay, and then for your header, you need to go to file. Uh, nope, just kidding. You need to go to insert page number. Click this one in the top right. Page number, top right. Well, it's just not going to put it in the top right for us, is it? Mm, I miss word documents. Okay, whole one, but this has to be in the exact same format. Okay, so this also needs to be double spaced, 12 point font times New Roman. All right, um, and that is how you start something creative. We'll come back to our title, we'll figure out a good one. Okay, so then starting my essay, you have to indent, right? Tab over. Um, Here's right as she looked to the window. Um, this is Weaver. 
Actually, it was dad that found him, so let's be more historically accurate. His ears rang as he looked to the window. Mr. Weaver saw the silhouette of his son's limp body lying in the woods. Bam! Gold. We want to read more of that, do we not? We do. And then you need a bridge sentence. Tara would hear this story so many times as a child. She would remember it to be her own memory. Okay, let's put her last name in there for context because remember your reader never has any idea what you're talking about. Assume they don't know what the prompt is. Assume they don't know what the story is about. You have to explain everything, but still make it interesting, okay? Um, okay, she would remember it to be her own memory. Um, historical... A historical event of Ruby Ridge along with others such as the Waco siege and the OKC bombing. Shaped the way Westover, um, the way Tara Westover viewed the world, um, the historical events of Ruby Ridge, along with others such as the Waco siege and the OKC bombing, shaped the way Tara Westover viewed the world. Um, Nope. Let's say her father's own jaded views of the historical events, the historical event at Ruby Ridge, along with others such as the Waco siege and the OKC bombing, shaped the way Tara Westover viewed the world. We're gonna do a two a two sentence thesis, which you don't do often, but you can. Um, she was taught at a young age at the United States federal government was in place to control and harm its citizens rather than protect them. Okay, bam, that is a good first paragraph. I mean, yeah. So then in our first body paragraph, we're going to go into explaining that, right? So you always wanna explain something from your thesis statement. So our first, um, Part we talk about Ruby Ridge, Waco Siege, OKC bombing. Bam, bam, bam. You can write a whole body paragraph discussing those, okay? Um, and what happened, but always make sure you bring it back to the prompt. You're also going to need to include a quote somewhere in here. And to do so, you need to put it in a quote sandwich, okay? So I'm kind of laying everything out in this video today and then hoping if you get to this Wednesday, that's fine. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you need to have intro body conclusions, okay? So for your quote sandwich, you would have a topic sentence right here. So if in this paragraph you're going to talk about Ruby Ridge, your topic sentence needs to be some transition from this right here. She was taught at a young age that the United States federal government was in place to harm its citizens rather than protect them. To here, this needs to be a topic sentence about Ruby Ridge. So you can say, I don't remember the year Ruby Ridge. Um, 1992. Okay, so you can say, 
1992, the U.S. government swarmed Randy Weaver, a known anti government government anti government uh, activist <clears throat> Swarm the home of Randy Weaver, a known anti-government activist. His son and wife were killed in the raid. It's innocent. Okay, bam, another interesting first sentence. So we need textual evidence from Educated. I don't have my copy with me because I had to leave school and could not go back. Educated quote about the. Let's pray that Google comes through for us, okay? Um. Yep. Bam. Right here. Her father's words. Nope, not right there, not bam. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I know it's long, but Okay, here we go. My strongest memory is not a memory. It's something I imagined. Then came to remember as if it happened. The memory when, was formed when I was five, just six. Okay. We're gonna copy that. So in our essays, we'll skip down because you have to introduce. So here's our quote, right? Um. So, Tara claims in her book, Educated, and that's italicized because it's a long work, um, that she remembers her father telling Ruby Ridge Randy Weaver's story. So vividly and frequently that she remembers it as her own childhood memory. Tara claims Tara. in her book, Educated, you see how I'm just editing this as I go along, claims that she remembers her father telling Randy Weaver's story so vividly and frequently that she remembers it as her own childhood memory. She says, comma, quotation mark, oh, quotation mark, and then capital would be the capital M on my, right? Always do com comma, quotation mark, capital. Now, this is a very long quote. You usually don't want to put one, um, this long in. So we could even cut that part out. Um, my strongest memory is not a memory, it's something I imagined and came to remember as if it had happened. Memory was formed when I was five, just before I turned six, from a story my father told in such detail that I and my brothers and sisters had each conjured our own cinematic version. Actually, I don't want to use that part. I want to use the other part. Um,
Okay, let's cut that line out. And then you just do dot, dot, dot. Mine had crickets. That's the sound I hear as my family huddles in the kitchen. Lights off, hiding from the feds who surrounded the house. A woman reaches for a glass of water and her silhouette is lighted by the moon. A shot echoes. Look, I said silhouette there. I must have remembered that when I remembered to say, or when I thought of saying silhouette for the boy laying on the ground. Because I feel like I don't use that word very often. Um, and her silhouette is lighted by the moon. So I would go back and take that word out now because you don't want to say it twice in an essay. Especially when they say it, it looks like you cheated. Even though I haven't read this part of the book since we read it in class. Um, shot echoes like the lash of a whip and she falls. In my memory, it's always mother who falls and she has a baby in her arms. Okay. And then Tara goes on to say how to discuss... To explain that the baby does not make sense since she was the baby of her family. Um, talk is driving me crazy. Her father was obviously disturbed by what happened to the weavers and even terrified of it happening to his own family. Therefore, he ingrained, I thought might be iron, nope, ingrained the memory, the no, it was I. Terrific memory. Into brains. Yeah. Minds of his own children. To scare them. To scared them from trusting ever trusting the government. I would clean that up a little bit, but in a quote sandwich, what you're going to do is first you have to introduce the quote. We did that. We talked about that here, and we talked about Tara talking about it here. That's introducing it. She says, right? That's our introduction. Then we have her quote. Then you need to explain it. She goes on to explain that the baby does not make sense since she was the baby of her family. Her father obvious, her father was obviously disturbed by what happened to the weavers and even terrified of it happening to his own family. Therefore, he ingrained the horrific memory into the minds of his own children to scare them from ever trusting the government. So in that, you're explaining what happened and saying why it's important. So I explained what he's saying here and why he did it. Um, but I'm also explaining why it's important to Tara's life. Growing up, believing that the people placed in charge of the country were... Um, Growing up believing uh, that the government wanted to control, nope, that the government would stop at nothing to control its citizen, its people, caused Terra to have many reservations as she threw herself into the real world. I'm going to put real in quotations because technically the world she was living in was also real. But so far away at the same time. Okay, I know this has been a long video. I just wanted to kind of explain um, intro and body paragraph to you. So again, I have put zero thought into this. I picked a quote as we were coming through. Um, and 
look how much with my quote so much I already have over a page here okay so I just need one more paragraph and I'm done you can do it too see we've been on here for 25 minutes I chatted to you about juice for a good 10 of those so it did not take long at all so after you're finished with your essay I mean your test please 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 um, work on this essay and get as much finished if you want to write the whole thing and submit it in parts that is totally fine you may absolutely do that um, okay good luck let me know if you need help Okay, bye.